Greetings from Tromaville at Indie Popcom. I'm Lloyd Kaufman, president of Troma Entertainment and creator of the Toxic Avenger. I'm here with Super Tromet, Tromalia, and uh, what have you to say, Tromalia? Yes, welcome to the world of role-playing roulette. Wow, well, role-playing roulette's my favorite entertainment and education, all wrapped up into one politically correct uh, enchilada. Now, the amazing thing about role-playing roulette is we take the bullets. We're still here at Indie PopCon, and I'm about to get a demo of an awesome new game that's on Kickstarter right now. We played it a little bit the other day, and it was a lot of fun. Now we're going to actually show you what it's like. All right, so this is our card game Hipster. When there are four players, we start handing out five cards each round robin. Then, what's cool right now? And I'm going to try to match a card up. I don't really see anything, so I'll throw something out. So you're currently into... Uh, currently into top... 100 pop music. Turn down for what? And then I can discard one card on my turn, which is the double I had. And then at the end of my turn, I draw back up to five. And then it's the next player's turn. Oh, I'm into nice. fashion. Currently, wax mustaches. Pink and, ones. All right. Okay, I get that reference now. Yeah. <laughs> um, are we only allowed to lay down one thing? Yep. One at a time. Okay, just making sure. You're also allowed to discard one thing all if you want right. to. Yes. And draw back up to five. All right. Part-time jobs is not cool right now, but gosh darn it, it's cool to me. <laughs> You're going to get in on ground floor being cool with that. Skyliner is never fashionable. You obviously have never seen my MySpace page. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thing to do, so I am into pocket watches. I'm going to go ahead and discard clove cigarettes, because even if they become cool, I hated them when they were popular in the early 2000s. <laughs> And uh, that's going to be it for me. I'm going to play Fixed Gear Bikes. Mm. Nice trinket. It's not cool now, but it's darn as well will be. I'm as soon as people like catching their flesh and gears. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, it's always, scars are trendy, don't oh. you know? <laughs> and that, that is it for my turn. All right. I am into microbrews and oh. independent brewing. Do we have to discard? Nope. Oh, all right. Fantastic. Then I will just draw a new card. I will play liberal arts. I will also discard liberal, liberal <laughs> arts because I do not need to. Discarding a card you have in play is actually also really good. You want them and if in that many people have them, they're instantly uncool. So it can take away your win. I am gonna play bow ties because I am a slave to the trends. I'm going to play polka dots. Very fashionable. Um, I'm not gonna discard anything, so I'll just draw the one back up to five. Sorry, Fox. What's cool is uncool. Oh no! Oh, stop! Dang it! <laughs> Cancel another player's play. Oh wait, no. That's a rule card. Oh Damn. no! Darn it! Blah, 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 blah. Oh. I'm sorry. I noticed the color. I'm like, oh shoot. shoot. What's cool is uncool. Don't worry, I boned myself too on that. Ah. Oh. Of course you know. This means war. <laughs> <gasps> but this means fashion war. When that card comes out, it's basically no two people can win. So since he's, it's between me and Josette because uh, we do not have anything on the board. And that's my play for this turn, right? Or do our rules different from what you're into? Yeah, you, you can play place one of these. You can place one rule, um, and then you can discard. Okay. Yep. Well, fantastic. I am also now into political. Games. At if this point, have... no one's a winner until basically Becky or I happen to play a card that's for oh. the cool cards. So now it's a war of attrition. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> Fashion attrition. And it, it's important to note that it's you a, can't... It's a war of apathy. Apathy, yeah. Really. It's, a, um, it's a war of liberal <laughs> artrition. Um, and it's important to note that you cannot trade out any of these cards until you reach the maximum of five, and then you can switch them out. All right, well, uh, this sure thing is making its way. I can't win now. Well, I will just uh, complain about that problem <laughs> as I crawl through the Negro streets at dawn, howling hysterical naked at my poetry slam. I'm going to play Gunner because it's. I think it's cool. I'm going to play Trendiness Overlord. Every card in the What's Cool Right Now area is discarded to the trash pile. New cards are dealt. Well, that's a fashion statement. 
<laughs> wow, uh, all in one. Part time job. Everybody's doing that. <laughs> I'm going to discard clove cigarettes. So I am going to play Crazy Sixes, Ooh. which takes this card out. What is Crazy Sixes? Crazy Sixes allows you to have six cards in your hand and six I'm into cards in front of you. Ooh. I'm going to play Bow Ties. I'm into Art House Cinema. Too real. Too real. Too real. Too real. Getting too close to home. Getting now. too close to home. Are you talking smack about my Alejandro Jodorowsky collection? I like Jodorowsky mostly. All right. Um, okay. I think it talks smack for itself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go across two two tables. Two is the new one. Two is the new one. <laughs> try to try to break the suburban paradigm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I lay, lay down twelve sided dice. Cause yeah. One room glasses. Love the way they make my eyes look. I'm going to play man bags because nothing says sexy like a man purse. Sexy man purse. Sexy man purse. And then I'm going to play white elephant on you. Just one player, they must trade all of their hand into cards in front of them for cards in front of other players. So you basically deal out your I'm into cards to whomever, and then we give you that card. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have to be any one person or a cat. Could it also be random? Yeah. If you so choose. Okay. Fantastic. All right. I'm going to lay down. I'm into political rallies. Now, I am also into bowlers. Two bowlers are now out. So Ooh. that's not cool anymore. This nope. is, it, it suddenly became too fashionable. Folk jazz and fusion. Okay, well, I just picked up the first album by Psycho Funkopus. <gasps> <laughs> Time is an illusion. Man. Man. Arbitrarily created by people to make sure they get to work on time. It's so. a social construct <laughs> to keep us in our time clocks. And... Escape from the pocket watch paradigm. <laughs> <laughs> Mustaches with mullets. I'm, they're, they're out. They're in. I'm, I'm getting on the bandwagon. Woo! I am no longer into bowlers. I'm jumping on the folk jazz and fusion train. <laughs> the a, uh, bandwagon, so to speak. Get on the ground You're gonna borrow a couple sort of, of my neutral milk hotel CDs. I too no longer am into bowlers. It's suspenders all the way. Uh, that's, that's appropriate for the convention. The mighty spin. I'm going to play indie micro brews. I am no longer into bow ties, but I have recently gotten into retro fluid lamps. Polka dots are back, so I'm gone. I'm into horn rimmed glasses, which makes them uncool. Yeah, I'm gonna play. Yeah. Ooh, look over there oh. and take your guy liner. Oh. Look over there allows me to take one card from another person. Actually, that... let me place that over here because that's a winner. Yeah, it gives you the win. Oh. Mm -hmm. nice. no. It is just no. too popular. <laughs> Choose one card from the What's Cool Right Now area. That card is no longer cool and goes in the trash pile. And well, everyone's done Aww. trying to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> that what you just got rid of? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I just didn't want to get rid of Sven. You betrayed me. I should have got rid of these. They're in the uncool. I know. Part. What the heck? I don't know. That's just a. That's just an all-around bad play. I'll get rid of polka dot dresses again. Oh wait. Nope. I'm gonna get rid of hornworm gallic glasses because that's strategic. Yeah, that's <laughs> see if I was a smart person. I'm into poetry slams. I'm going to not like injury micro booze and then change my mind and like it again. I'm gonna trade in my hornworm glasses for a degree. I'm gonna switch this rule for you can't afford it. What that does is it puts a fourth cool card of now? what's cool, which complicates the win condition. I'm gonna take out the polka dots. Those. Herbs. I'm pretty happy with everything I'm into. Can I pass? Okay. Well, <laughs> I am gonna play Want It, Need It. Right. Through the discard pile for any one I'm into card. I think I made a mistake when I got uh, out of Occupy and into conventions. My dad was into that whole folk jazz fusion, so that makes sense. I should have gotten rid of it. Oh, does it matter? <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, oh, wait. well, you really gonna wear that? He doesn't need to wear the guy eyeliner as well. Uh, okay. Oh! 
You gotta be shitting me. Now, do you have, a, do you have an action, because you haven't played your turn yet, do you have an action figure you can play? Since Guy Liner's out, I'll sell mine. <laughs> so that's what, the third time he's won almost. and she's... Anyone almost have any way of stopping it this time? <laughs> nope. Nope. There you go. That, that was a victory card. And all of, a sudden, all of a sudden, Chubba Wamba, I get knocked down, starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> As okay. usual around the Seven Realms studio, I am the coolest and therefore the worst. <laughs> Well, guys, thanks so much for watching us play Hipster. We had a lot of fun with this game, and we cannot wait until it comes out. Full disclosure, we are backing this game, but that's because it was so much fun to play every single time we played it. They're currently doing quite well, and this is a golden opportunity for you to get on the ground floor. Now, I don't want to do too much shilling for Dodeca system, because I think they earned that completely on their own. I just wanted every single one of our viewers to be aware of this game and see a little bit of it so that they could make their own decisions. If you're interested in this game, we're going to have links all over the place. There's going to be links in the description. I'll have links up here for people who don't turn their annotations off. You can also check out Dodeca System's role-playing game, There's a Game in This Book. I picked up a copy of it myself and will probably do a review of it in the future. Of course, anybody who's familiar with our release schedule knows that might be any time between now and the heat death of the universe, but we are doing our best. Thank you again for watching and stay tuned because we're going to have more videos from Indie PopCon coming up soon.